Like the original alchemists were trying to produce gold by blending unique or strange ingredients of nature, I'm trying to do exactly the same thing in a musical manner, throughout a digital way as we live in the age of computers. The alchemy of sounds and styles in order to filter them and produce a unique result. My music is the result of everything I like and embracing music in life. It's my imagination, my experiences, my emotions, my everyday stories, my heartbeat and my mind. The actual words Fuga Magica was seen in a box from a friend, but uh, they fit it perfectly as the end title of the two year period while I was recording the album. I realized that uh, it was the actual and musical runaway. On one hand I had to get out of situations and leave them behind, and on the other hand I was exploring new territories in music using also new instruments that I never used before, so the title was perfect for the album. It must include everything or maybe absolutely nothing. It's up to each musician's hands to show or hide what he or she wants. Music is a trip and the perfect album I guess must be starting from somewhere and song by song it should reveal this musical journey till the end of it. Waking up not too early and while drinking my morning coffee I'm checking my emails and the news. Then I'm heading to work at some of the studios that I work with. And the second half of the day it's not the same every day. I have rehearsals or recordings or a gig with the bands I play as a drummer or writing, mixing, recording songs for my projects or DJing. I guess my first release on Mo Listening Pearls, the 12 inch right version left, which reached number 4 in the DCC charts and made my name as a producer better known out of the borders of Greece. I love the EQs and the compressors. You can do such amazing things and lift the whole sound to another level if you treat them right. A whole bunch of singers, to name just a few. Sia, Tina Dico, the Brazilian singer Seu, Ali Harter, Jose Gonzalez, I don't have any hard time doing any remix. For me doing remixes is super fun. The hard job in doing remixes in general is that by the end the song should not sound like the original. Otherwise why bother remixing it? Not much. I renew the albums every now and then and I prefer listening to music in a good quality sound system. Them Crooked Vultures. I guess I am addicted in one way or another, and I feed that addiction by writing music, playing, listening and buying records. I enjoy that a lot. I'm not sure if the answer is yes, cause I find music in everything, from a boiling water to traffic, even in silence. 
there is always a piece of music everywhere. I have a lot of hobbies that has to do with music, but except that I like watching movies and documentaries, going to concerts, watching motorsports, having good nights out and in with friends, the regular stuff. All kinds of music, reggae, dub, breaks, jazz, funk, latin, downtempo, drum and bass, classical, experimental, but on top of those lots and lots of rock in every form. I don't know what's gonna be the future of dance music. I'm just waiting for the new thing to pop out. I just hope that people will learn to appreciate more kinds of grooves and beats and styles of music to dance with. Internet is an amazing thing, but also it can be a notorious one. It just the new form of communication, like uh, it's just how you use it. <laughs> 